Originally, this started uh, September, first week of some first day of September, actually, the whole day weekend. I had a um, mild heart attack and a blood clot. Um, wife drove me to the hospital. Uh, I spent five, six days in an induced coma. Uh, they put in a stint and removed the clot. Uh, at that time, when they finally woke me up and got me off painkillers, I was starting to experience um, a burning sensation in my foot, um, almost like hot charcoals on the top, on the instep. Uh, that was four days before I got released from the hospital. I mentioned this to the doctors. Um, a neurosurgeon came in uh, at the hospital. Uh, four days later, I got released. Same pain in the foot, no problems with the heart. Uh, physically weak, uh, but was able to walk, was able to do a city block anyway, and exercise a little bit. But the pain progressively got worse. I called Dr. Kirkham. Judy did actually my wife and set me up with an appointment to see her. He explained what he was going to do for me, uh, explained also that it was experimental and it was something that we were going to try and see how it worked out. Uh, the pain was getting more and more intense and wearing me out. Every two hours I'd have to take an hour, hour and a half nap. Currently, after seven or eight treatments, um, I am from a 7-8 constant pain level to a 1-1.5 one, one pain level, bearable. I'm able to walk, I'm able to stay awake uh, and use my legs for more than 6 hours. Originally, what was strange was I came to Doc. Uh, before I came to Doc, I thought it was a problem with my sciatic nerve. And I put ice packs on it uh, right at my hip area because that's where it was tender. Um, didn't realize uh, it, it helped the pain, but I didn't realize that uh, most of it was in my foot. It, it made it comfortable. One night, Judy asked me, because I was sitting on the couch on a big ice bag, uh, asked me if I wanted an ice pack for my foot. Second or third night home. And when I put the ice pack on my foot, I couldn't feel it. I mean, I'm, I'm right out of the freezer ice pack, right on the foot, could not feel it. But I could feel pain, I could feel burning sensation. Um, best way to describe it, um, is a 9 volt battery on the tip of your tongue times a thousand. Um, but it was constant. You couldn't get comfortable with it. Once that happened, um, I think it was maybe a day or two before Doc seen me here. And uh, he asked me three questions. I think that's why I was so comfortable with you. And it was like, all three questions, you know, oh, okay, know right what it is, we can whack, we can go at it. The hospital really didn't want to go near it. The treatments are basically um, icing down an exercise to the left foot, which is where there is no pain, and uh, focusing on a reflection in the mirror of the left foot versus the right foot pain, um, and transferring that um, feeling or those um, 
feelings of exercise and cold to the right foot. Um, the other thing was uh, a mild electrical shock on the back of my neck um, to um, help the right foot get a better sensation or, or quiet the right foot down so there wasn't that burning, um, uncomfortable feeling, that intense burning. The first couple treatments um, were um, slow, progress was slow, very slow. Um, after the fourth and fifth treatment I started feeling better. More of a tingling that wasn't there before. Um, the feeling is starting to return. The cold sensation, um, the um, rubbing on it, the touching of it isn't as is, is unbearable. Um, I, I can't explain this this pain. Um, the only uh, way to explain how sensitive it was, it would be like touching a, a, um, a very bad burn on your skin. And um, it's just about gone after seven or eight treatments. 